And that is where we are currently at, everybody. How we feeling? How are we feeling? Oh yeah, they they announced they're pursuing a recount in Wisconsin. Yeah, so uh, I I do not think a recount in Wisconsin is actually going to overturn the uh, results. So I think we can rest easy on Wisconsin, friends. I'm glad Hex and Ring music. I'm I'm glad, you know, this is uh, this is again this is the stream where we take the hope pill, everybody. Um, you still think Trump will steal it all and this election coverage is pointless? Yeah, it's not pointless. Um, currently, uh, Joe Biden is leading by about 3 million votes. Um, every, every vote that Joe Biden gets, okay, every single vote that he gets over Donald Trump is, in fact, uh, a vote that makes us more secure in the election results it is much harder for a judge to throw out an election when uh, a contender has won by six million votes than uh, it is to throw out an election where a contender has won by three million votes and right now california isn't even like major like like in the 80 percent range rep reporting yet like New York still has a crap ton of votes left to tally up. Overwhelmingly, these votes are these votes are going to be going for Biden. Over the next couple days, when we get to a more finalized tally, now I need to remind you guys: in 2016, Hillary Clinton won the popular vote by three by three million votes. Three million. Um, Joe Biden right now is going to be up by more it, it, Joe Biden right now is already up by 3 million votes if if this keeps going Joe Biden is going to be up by 6 million or more I, I'm, I'm going to go wager with more to be 100% honest with you guys and if Joe Biden gets up to that, that level like I think if he gets up to 6 million for example uh, over Trump the ability of the Supreme Court to say no, this election was invalid, or like the these fringe cases were invalid, and like tip the Supreme Court or whatever, it's going to be a much harder sell when it goes against the the vast overwhelming majority of the people. So, I understand the worries about like a, a Supreme Court intervention in this election. However, I think that the more that Joe Biden wins by, keep an eye on this uh, total vote number for Joe Biden. And compare it to the vote number for Donald Trump. The larger this number gets, the better it is for America, okay? And the less likely it is that the Supreme Court is going to overturn um, the results of this election. And yeah, the Electoral College is not great. We should definitely get rid of it. What if Trump runs in 2024 and wins? Biden, during his presidency, gets rid of the filibuster and Trump can now pass anything he wants. Is it a good thing that the filibuster is gone? I don't think it's good to run on hypotheticals. Uh, so, uh, yeah, like, overall, I think it's a good thing that the, that the uh, filibuster is gone. Yeah. If you want California and New York voting the president, you should get rid of the Electoral College. Well... AC Jonesy 96, I would prefer that our system represents the most number of people. I don't think that uh, other people should be weighted differently just because they live in a different patch of land. We're voting for the president, not for, uh, not for like a land god, you know? I don't know, that, that analogy didn't really play out the way I wanted it to. After Trump won, I really expected a massive fallout from him winning due to the Electoral College. Uh, any idea what the normal rules are for challenging the results in those states? Well, I would imagine that the, um, that the Supreme Court case will be largely based on um, either... I, I, I can't imagine it's going to be based on trying to allege that there was... 
um, significant amounts of voter fraud. I think it is more likely it's going to hinge on like an obscure, like obscure ruling about like what time votes need to be in by and trying to argue that like the trying to make the argument that like votes that arrive after election day don't count. And so we need to do a recount or something like that. I don't know. Um, East Swizzy, it's really, really simple. And I agree, two part the two party system sucks. We should get we should get rid of it. But what needs to happen to have a two party system, uh, uh, like a multi party system in America, we need ranked choice voting. And I believe uh, some states might have ranked choice voting now. I'm I'm not sure about that. But basically, uh, we need to give people the ability to have like a number one and a number two and a number three choice. You know, um, and that way. Oh, nice. Maine does. Um, but that way we can have uh, multi -par multiple parties in this country. And that uh, that would be, a, I, I think, hugely beneficial. China's internet media is controlled by the government. Now our network media is slandering Mr. Trump and they are praising Biden. O okay. I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I don't care. Why, wait, why, why should I care what China's internet media is saying? That has no bearing on our election. Phoenix down. Everyone would vote their main party first and their rival part. Yeah, exactly. The issue is having ranked choice, vo having ranked choice voting Phoenix down basically means that you can get enough support around like fringe parties to have them be meaningful political forces in the uh, wider politics landscape. Having a winner take all system like we currently do. Um, basically uh, sets it up to gravitate towards a two-party system. Um, I just went looking at some other election streams and they haven't found any pro-Trump ones, so that's cool. Really? You haven't found any pro-Trump? That's interesting. Uh, so what's... So what... So you want deals between parties to have meaning? Is that the end goal? Well, I mean the way like a multi-party political system usually works is that like there are political coalitions and i think that that would be fine yeah you you vote for a party that would uh move your move your ideals forward you know the birthday party will rise on helium wings yes true 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 not the ones i could find on mobile I wonder if I wonder if it's just because I've outlasted all of the other streams. I am the last politics stream on on Twitch. Ooh, okay. Of the two hundred thousand uncounted votes in Georgia, most come from left-leaning uh, areas of metropolitan Atlanta, uh, suggesting they're likely to skew Democratic. Interesting. So Georgia could really close this gap. Um, and he's only, Biden's only behind by about 80,000 votes, guys. Politics die when Jack goes to sleep. I mean, maybe. Oh, Bandit has a bad day. That sounds like you're having a good day, though. I think Biden received a lot of money from the Chinese government. I am, I'm a Chinese. Okay, my dude. Uh, all right, I'm. G I, you've had your meme time. Goodbye. B Biden has already won the election. IMO Georgia doesn't really matter. Yeah, I mean, uh, Biden is pretty, uh, pretty close to uh, winning the election. My state, uh, yeah, Biden. Biden won uh, Minnesota pretty handily. Um, let's see. Yeah, I would say. Wisconsin, Michigan, 
And if this is true from Stephanie Saul in Atlanta, um, I would say that Biden has a really good shot of winning Georgia as well, which I was not expecting. But, um, ooh, Annie's white cheddar mac and cheese. Mm, girl. My lips are very chapped. does anyone else forget about COVID sometimes like I still I still wear a mask and I'm very safe but like I forget it's a thing sometimes because of how long it's been going on yeah my uh my my dad had medical trouble uh a while ago and I totally forgot about COVID I was like just gonna bring him over to the hospital it'll be fine you know you can bring him some of his stuff and like visit him, spend time with him. And it was like, no, you, you can't come in. I was like, wait, why? COVID. It's like, oh, oh, that's right. That sucks. Man, ex Cody coping hard. The copium runs strong through Cody. Uh, you keep telling yourself that, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. When I watch download videos of sports events before CV, it's weird to see full seating in the stands. It is, yeah. Sometimes I put in rom-coms just to watch like people interact in public. It's I feel weird doing it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Dem... Oh, oh, the debt. Wait, I thought you said Donald Trump was winning. I thought, uh, uh what's your I issue? Uh, my favorite rom-com? Can I say, can I say The Princess Bride? Or is that cheating? Okay, I'm, I'm glad that's fair. They salty the red wave was a red mirage. I mean, you're going to win Alaska. That's true. You can win Alaska. That's fine. Princess Bride. Yeah, Princess Bride is one of my all-time favorite movies. Never, never makes me feel bad. Let's see. Point nine, point seven, point six. No change, no change, no change. <laughs> Land doesn't vote, funny man. Imagine the small brainedness it takes to like come into this chat and just be like, "Yeah, we got you." While you're you like losing like crazy. It's like the uh it's like the band on the Titanic making fun of the people who got on the lifeboats, you know? I mean, you know the lower taxes thing was only going to benefit rich people, right? Oh, he's going all cap because he's coping so hard. That's why. I don't think ex-Cody is going to care about uh, gay and women's rights, unfortunately. lockdown after second wave hit here it just got a new boost in awareness now keep staying safe true is it bad that i've never watched titanic no i have never watched titanic either because my name's jack and i got crap for it all the time um 
lower taxes for the wealthy and gun rights for the military and police. True lefties. Stop watching fake, fake news, you brainwashed idiot. We actually haven't watched any news. I'll never let go, Jack. Thank you. Thank you. Never let go of this stream. Um, just for for the record, X Cody, we we haven't actually watched any news on this uh, on this on this stream. I've been I've been streaming for uh, roughly eighteen hours now. Yeah, a little over eighteen hours, and uh, we haven't watched any news. We've just been watching the polling data come in, or the the uh, the ballot counting data come in. I would love to watch some fake news for shits and giggles. Okay. Let's walk. Fake news. Let's see. Video. Want to know why coronavirus started? Or what might cure it? Well, search online and you'll find thousands of answers, many of which aren't true. I investigate disinformation for the BBC. And I'm often asked, who starts these rumours? And who spreads them? Well, as always, the answer isn't straightforward. So I've broken them down into five different types. One, the Joker. Lots of people have been sharing funny posts and memes online. And some of them are pretty good. But others go too far, and people actually believe that they're true. Two, the scammer. This lot are looking to make money from the pandemic. Okay, I thought, this was, I thought this was going to be more interesting than it actually is, and it's too simplistic. I don't, I don't find it interesting. Okay, let, let's have, yeah, let's have some OAN for fair and balanced news, okay? Let's take a look. The streaming service that gives you One American News, a wealth of entertainment, and... Okay... Oh, okay. Here, here's that. Apparently, Trump won. Okay. President Trump won four more years in office last night. North Carolina, Florida, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin are all Trumps. Even Arizona, which somehow has Biden winning, wait, is wait. rampant. Office last night. It, I, I was really distracted because the lighting on her is terrible. But let, let's keep going. North Carolina, Florida, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin are all Trumps. Even Arizona, which... Except that none of those were called three hours ago for Trump. So this is strange. This is a strange thing to say. Somehow has Biden winning is rampant with voter fraud. Nevada, same thing. This is a decisive victory for Trump. Yet, in the wee hours of the morning, when Trump had a large... Again, none of the states that she mentioned were called for either candidate at the time. Can I give you the link to the video? Sure. There you go. Oh, you think she's a vampire. A victory, Fair. Particularly in Pennsylvania and Michigan, the Democrat leadership of the state stopped the vote counts. Why on earth would you stop counting? Because Trump is clearly winning and they need no, to- No, because it's, it's late and people need to go to bed. That's why. Time to find more ballots. The American people have spoken and are sick and tired of the games Democrats are playing, taking for granted that Americans will just accept whatever the Democrat leadership and liberal media say is fact. The fact is that Donald Trump won a second term last night. Democrats are tossing Republican ballots Harvesting my my dude, you think you're gonna win the house? You're gonna you think you're gonna win the house? Let's take a look at the house race. How about that? I haven't actually looked. House race results. Oh, I typed in horse. I meant I meant house. There we go. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Here are the notable races. Oops. All right. <sighs> yeah, a lot of these haven't been decided yet, but um, let's see. Let's see. We have one, two probable wins. 
three, four. I don't know. All I'm saying is here, I think we're going to win the house, guys. I, I, have, I have this feeling when I look at these numbers that we're going to win the house. I found... Oh my god. I found, oh no. I, Bandit has a bad day. I told you, don't forget to put the 10,345 ballots into the mailbox. He's, wait. Wait, is Steven Crowder live right now? Oh, they are live. Wait. Or maybe they're not? Yeah, let's head over to YouTube. Oh, they are live. Uh, get that uh, that side-by-side -side of Kenosha County, not the graph, but there was a side-by-side -side of the percentage of vote where yeah, it was they... Donald Trump and Biden, and then right next to it was there was a switch. He, just to... he's, got the, he's got the crazy eyes, guys. He's got, he's got the crazy eyes right here. Like, like someone actually flipped on a light switch and all of a sudden in Kenosha County they went overwhelmingly to Biden. And you have to wonder, well, what changed? Hmm. What changed all of a sudden in Kenosha County? It, it wasn't a different, it wasn't the state, it was a county. Hmm. How did that happen? Yeah, I, I haven't been able to. It, it wasn't the state, it was the county. Because counties report in. The, the counties report. The, the, the results of the county. That, that, that's how this works. Please, please stop. My mind is being changed. <laughs> uh, Find that, uh, you, it's it's sort of uh, searching stuff. Man, the night after is kind of cursed with <laughs> search terms. You get a billion results for everything. Well, also um, search is obviously manipulated as well. Like That's the problem. You yeah. can't yeah. find anything. Yeah. If you search fascist, it takes you to Donald Trump. If you search communism, Stephen Crowder doesn't look very good. Is he okay? Uh, takes it depends. I think that's why we need this show, right? So whenever I woke up, I was like, what do I look at? I can't trust any of these numbers. They're right. all different. Every single news outlet was different. So I'm like, what? Why do all of these numbers happen? Guys, again, I need to, I need to clarify this for you. Um, the reason the numbers are different is because typically, typically, uh, how election news works is the AP News receives like the main pipeline of information and then everyone else gets their information from AP, like the Associated Press. Now, typically that has been afforded to the Associated Press largely because it's such a well-respected and neutral, uh, neutrally perceived organization. This election, however, the, uh, the, inf the, the veins of information have excluded the AP. So the Associated Press isn't getting the all of the information. Instead, uh, the information is going out to several different organizations, one of which is the Associated Press, but it's going out in all different directions from different sources. So it, the press then have this mad scramble to uh, assemble the pieces of information as best they can, and it's really a huge, colossal, colossal mess. Um, yeah. <sighs> anyway, this is, this is why it's all so confusing here. What do I go to? So that's why it, this show is so important. Well, thank it's you kind very of much. It all I together. appreciate it. You know what I do think, though? I, I really get the sense when you're watching me right now, they're trying to run out the clock. Yeah. yeah. They don't know, oh, yeah. and they want to just keep dragging it's this on because yeah. they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Th what they do know is Who's they don't they? know, and they've called some things a little bit too Who, soon. Who's yeah. they? Uh, who was it that called Ar saying Arizona will go Trump? It wasn't uh, uh, wasn't the election desk, but it was, uh, sorry. It, decision, uh, desk. Decision, decision desk. Decision desk. Well, I think it was first called for Biden. Was, yeah, right, right. Fox. Yeah. Fox but but didn't you just say just recently someone on. was saying it was leaning uh, Trump? 
Oh, oh yeah, data orbital. Data orbital. That it was in line to go for Trump. That it was in line to go for Trump. Data orbital. Heck yeah, Anna Crouton. Um, Congrats. uh, Speaking of orbitals, we might actually have Dan Crenshaw, I believe, on the show a little bit later on. Oh, cool. Mm. Yeah. That's great. Now, it's interesting to me. They're looking, they're they're crunching some of these uh, numbers from the polls to see, you know, how they made a mistake in 2016. And everyone was telling us that, no, 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 it's not like 2016 because we've adjusted our models. Right. And uh, this guy... uh, Derek Thompson has gone through some of these numbers. Uh, he's he's a writer at the Atlantic, and he said that it's. Uh, hold on here. Well, now I lost it. He said that. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll bring it up in a second here. Guys, look. I I know, I know. That I am just a small humble streamer who doesn't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just bumbling along as best I can. Steven Crowder makes literally millions of dollars. Have a better operation, man. Basically, they tried to get uh, an idea of why they messed up so badly in 2016, and they found that they were five points off with non-college voters and their support for Trump. Yeah. And uh, let's see here. And then, uh, yeah, they missed by five points on average, and now they changed. Yeah, I'm their not sure why it's all so dark. And they have missed by, by seven, seven points, mm. right? Which was remarkable because remember I was saying uh, from the early polling, uh, this was I was using the polls from I think uh, late September when we did that segment, and I said let's just give Trump the states where he outperformed by seven points. Oh yeah, Stephen Crowder is basically made of nothing but bad takes. And it went incredibly red. And I said, let's just take the polls where he outperformed by five points because that was the, that was how how wrong they got it. And now it is being outperformed by seven points. The polls are wrong. You can't trust them. Brian Callen is saying that he would Skype in if you want to have him. Oh, is he on? Okay, really quickly. All right. And then you guys let me know when we need to uh, m- move on. Uh, Mr. Callen, sir, how are you? I know it's early where you are. Is that milk that you're drinking? Does the body good? I drink. I'm drinking. I'm drinking grass-fed raw milk because I'm an American. Right? Mm. So a lot of people say, Brian, you, you don't have, you know, you're lactose intolerant, to which I say, I'm American. Right. Americans <laughs> are not lactose intolerant. Why is he dominating you know, his camera? Because it makes your neck look thick, so I appreciate that. I thought it would, I, I was going more for a St. Jude Hello, vibe, Unotron. I appreciate Welcome your, your to the stream. Um, <laughs> were you following the election last night? I just expect Jennifer Aniston to come in with a photo op. Were you following the election last night? <laughs> She's behind me in a robe, which is yeah. like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's how I roll, bro. I don't have your hair. I don't have your mane. You got a mane, by the way. But and uh, but still, I make do with what I have. But Jennifer doesn't mind. And Maine, the by the way, <laughs> Maine second congressional district. Did- I, I knew the polls were going to be off. Yeah. Well, let me. They've been off by seven points. Let me ask you this. Uh, you know, right now, uh, barring uh, election fraud, which of course is highly likely in Pennsylvania given its history. Oh. Who do you think? Well, the Princess uh, Diaries wins, is also who do very you think good. And all the dust settles. I think that trying to predict anything like that is is always very iffy but if you got a gun to my head yes i do all right i is isn't this guy like a comedian why why do i care about his political take i I don't understand and i'm in horse stance yeah Steven Seagal thing no cameras you guys are hardcore by by the way by the way by the way the best the best is i I show up at steven's house at 10 a.m and for me it's like 8 a.m in in los angeles and he brings me right to the jujitsu room he's got his whole He's got a, he's got, it's Man, I, everywhere, and he goes, I'm, I'm super bored. All right. Well, but <laughs> weird not seeing Twitter put a warning on this. Wait, it, is the tweet deleted? Wait, what? I'm really confused, guys. Oh, this pic was photoshopped? (laughs) Wait, really? That's amazing. Okay, I was able to open that. But I can't actually see the tweet, so I I don't know. Huh. Whatever. <sighs> hey, 
hey Cody, I understand. I understand that you're you're mo you're molding in chat, but uh, remember to be respectful, okay? You don't you don't have to you don't have to show your full ass, okay? You can you can just show part of it, you know. Captain, why are you so skinny? What did you eat? What didn't you eat? Skinny Al Sharpton, Skinny Al Sharpton, regular Rachel Maddow, who even are you anyway? Skinny Al Sharpton, regular Maddow, what even is the American dream? <laughs> Skinny ass. <laughs> uh, some people are all ass. True. True. All right. Well, let's take that. That was a fun little detour. Let's let's take a look at the numbers again. Okay. Still doing good. Still doing good. Ooh, we've caught up by point one percent. You know the the big the big points. Um, let's see, yeah, 1.4, yep, we're still, we're still a little bit behind, but not, not insurmountably so. <sighs> yeah, that, that is true, that is true. All, all ass, no breaks. Y'all are so angry. He's so angry. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Cody, yeah. Okay, there we go. Riot Girl Callie. That that was a just ban. It was a just ban. Uh and the ban hammer sates its bloodlust once more. You know, they say they're Republicans, but they really Republican't. Got them. <laughs> so angry. It's true. Oh, snap. Raven Galactic, welcome to the stream. I appreciate you being here very much. And, and I said that before I even, um, before I even saw that you had followed the stream. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, you can't spell Republican without re. True. 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 Oh, wait. What? Show it to me. Show me. Show me the money. Yeah, Susan Collins won her re-election. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed. Let's take a look here. Battleground states to watch. Okay, Alabama. Not look. Yeah, these are all done. So far, uh, ooh, Purdue's only four points ahead now. Oh no, he's less than four points ahead. He's only three point six ahead. That's not good. It's not good for him. Uh, and Warnock has won the Georgia runoff, which is good. Uh, Tillis is just barely holding on. And uh, 
Yeah, all right. Look at this if you can view the site in America. Uh, send it to one of my mods. Um, will GA go to runoff if neither candidate gets 50? Yes. The, the, the top two contenders go to the runoff. Can't spell America without F-A-S-C-I-S-M. That's fascism today. Oh, you're all posting pic cute pictures of pets in the Discord. This is great. I love you all very much. Aw, thank you, Bandit Has a Bad Day. I was not fishing for that compliment. <laughs> Sent me the whisper? I, I, I haven't gotten the whisper. Oh, you sent it to Riot Girl, Callie. Gotcha. I'm bad at reading comprehension. Yes, I see. I see it now. Okay. BBC viewers furious. After ex Trump aides racist rant on TV. Ooh, glorious. All right. <laughs> BBC viewers threatened to throw their TVs out the window as a former Trump aide was allowed to rant on live TV. Uh, the heated debate between Republican strategi strategist Seth Weathers and political analyst Amisha Cross was aired on BBC News shortly after Donald Trump falsely claimed vote counting was major fraud and that he had already won the election, despite several crucial states still not returning official results. As Ms. Cross attempted to point this out, the Republican blurted out, Amisha needs to take her meds. In one outburst that has been accused of being racist, Mr. Weathers blasted she wants people to go out, riot, burn cities, loot a couple sneaker stores. Whoa. All right. Oof. Yeah. All right. Wait. Is the video here? President Trump has won oh, the election go. tonight. And it's, it's, it's going to be indisputable. And so for all this just bizarro world where they're coming up with all these scenarios where this is going to be challenged and that's going to be challenged, what the <laughs> hell are they going to challenge? I'm glad millions of votes are still to be counted. I want to just uh, bring in the sure. pictures so, we're whoa, seeing whoa, whoa, whoa. on the screen in Philadelphia. Th this is the tactics of authoritarians and dictators, isn't it? To, to stop counting and, and declare whoa, yourself as the whoa, winner. What the what, what are you talking about? The, the taxes of authoritarians to... Whoa, 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 whoa. What are these words you're throwing around? They have multiple syllables. I can only... I, I can't understand them. Okay? Um, also, uh, thank you, uh, one Captain Savaho. I, I appreciate that a lot. I'm trying to have a, like a... Like, I'm, basically what I want to do with this channel is have a very chill political vibe where we, where we can talk about things, where we can be kind, and we can uh, nonetheless make a forceful and compelling case for the things that we believe in. Okay? That's my goal with this channel. Um, also, happel, hapless for you, uh, I'm glad that this stream has helped you at all. Uh, I know that today has been extremely anxiety-ridden, um, and by today, I mean today and yesterday, but please do not freak out. 
uh, we are we are going to get through this together and it will be good okay we're taking the hope pill comrades not not the doom pill we're taking the hope pill and we are consuming that sweet sweet hopium all right let's watch the rest of this to have clear simple elections I think an authoritarian is the kind that would say, hey, a week from now, if I didn't win, I want to add a new bus a bucket of ballots that we have, quote-unquote, found a week after the election. That's the kind of thing that you would see from an authoritarian. We have had over a month's time for people to cast their ballot and for the vote to count. Joe Biden did not win. The pollsters are either frauds, liars, or inept. And then, honestly, in most cases, they're a combination of all of them. That's who should be taking uh, the brunt of this this evening and tomorrow morning. Uh, is the pollsters and the media that have totally they betrayed the American people with a false narrative. Okay. Uh. Oh wait, I thought the I thought they were going to uh, have a video here. I want to thank the American people people for. Yeah. Nope. Interesting. I thought this would be the the segment with her in it, but huh? I mean, he seems like a big piece of garbage, so I'm not surprised. <sighs> All right. Uh, well, I uh, Riot Girl Kelly. I actually live in Minnesota, so I I I'm not in L.A. What was racist about what he said? No, uh, it wasn't in this video clip. It was in um apparently was talking about how uh, she wants people to go out and root and uh, let's see he said uh, Mr. Weathers blasted she wants her people to go out riot, burn cities, loot a couple sneaker stores and uh, he's talking with someone who's black um, why did I think that? I don't know. Maybe I just have that, that Cali girl vibe, you know? Um, yeah, it must be, it must be nice to have a very specific, a uh, very specific thing that you, uh, have planned in your head for what an authoritarian would do. It must be real good. 